and good morning. I wanted to bring you guys along um, my day today and just vlog today. Today I'm doing a lot of things baby related. So I thought I would bring you guys along a day in my life pregnant. I am just about to be 28 weeks, which means I am entering the third trimester, which is so crazy to me that it's already the third trimester. Don't mind me by the way, I am literally in the middle of doing my makeup. I just started putting some foundation on. So I thought I would get ready with you guys and give you guys a quick update before um, I start my day. So it's already been a day. So actually this morning I headed off to do my glucose test and I went right away, pretty much right when the clinic opened because I just wanted to like get it over with and also there's always such big lines. So I went ahead and went to my clinic and I took the glucose test. I'll show you guys what it looked like, the bottle I had to drink, but I heard so many things about this test on like TikTok especially. And I was a little nervous because people really didn't seem to like it or um, they said it made them nauseous or the drink was just disgusting and it was just the worst. So I was a little nervous. It's pretty much to check if you are going to have gestational diabetes. So all you have to do is drink this drink that has like a lot of sugar in it and then I just waited for an hour and then they take your blood. The, I got the white one where it's kind of like a Sprite of it. I know that some people drink the orange flavor one. And honestly, it wasn't that bad. The drink wasn't that bad. You had to drink it like really fast, making sure you drink it within the five minutes. I didn't find it bad at all and it didn't make me nauseous, which I was really excited about. So it went really well actually. So once I drank that drink, I waited for an hour and then they took my blood and then I was off. And then I also went ahead and just took my little baby Naxos on a walk when I came home. And now I'm back here getting ready. I've been trying to get more ready lately, um, just to feel a little better. I'm definitely so much bigger now and it's becoming harder and harder to breathe and move and just have energy. I'm back to starting to feel a lot more tired. Now I'm doing the third trimester. I hear that you're just so tired again. I feel like my energy levels are finally starting <laughs> to go down, but I just have so much going on. Since the last time I think I updated you guys, I gave you guys my first trimester recap and it's been actually really well. I have to say the second trimester was my favorite because that's when I stopped feeling nauseous. I started getting energy. I started working out a lot more. But um, yeah, there definitely has been certain symptoms here, here and there that have been hard. I've been getting a little bit of acid reflux and heartburn. That was not fun. It comes and goes, thankfully. So I haven't been having it. So I'm so happy about that. And then I also have been getting just like pains right where my belly starts. It's just been getting harder and harder to sleep comfortably, which I feel like if you're pregnant, it just becomes harder and harder to sleep. I actually have my coffee. My husband was so nice and went ahead and picked me up a decaf. I really haven't drank coffee all my pregnancy, but I haven't been craving coffee. And then when I do get an occasional coffee like this one, it's decaf. So I just prefer to drink decaf, not drink caffeinated, but my doctor did say that you're allowed to drink apparently 200 milligrams a day of caffeine, but I really haven't been into caffeine, which if you guys haven't watched me for a while, I was a daily caffeine drinker, sometimes two times a day. But yeah, all I've been living off of is water. I even have my water right next to me in this huge cup that looks like the Stanley, but it's a dupe. I actually picked this up from Winners, they have these at Winners or Marshalls for like so cheap. So I'm not gonna go over what I'm using for my makeup, but I will link down below what I do use just in case you guys are curious because these are just my like go-to everyday basics. I don't really like switch it up anymore. I feel like I'm very boring with my makeup routine. I feel like before I would try all these like different products and things and now I just have my staples and I'm good. <laughs> I'm sorry by the way if I'm all over the place. Ever since I got pregnant, I definitely have pregnancy brain. Like it's all over the place. I feel like I have a 
the worst memory possible and I'm just in a fog all the time and I just forget everything so don't mind me but it's been really good and it's crazy that I am getting closer and closer to my due date I'm now that it's like coming I'm a little like getting a little more anxious because I feel like I need to start getting things going which today I'm gonna bring you guys along my day because today my husband and I are gonna work in the nursery so we already painted the nursery and I'm obsessed with it I will be doing a tour when it's fully done so I don't know if I'll share with you guys everything yet because I kind of want it to be like a surprise when everything's ready but we did go ahead and paint and today we're gonna make the baby dresser um, my husband and I went to Ikea, I think, last weekend, and we bought the dresser, which I think it's the Hems dresser. I'll link it down below. It's literally the dresser that I see everyone getting, and I just really like it because there's a lot of uh, drawers, and I like how the first row are smaller drawers. So you guys will see that, us making it and all of that. So we're going to do that, and then we also want to hang the mirror that we bought with the dresser on top. So we're just gonna do a little bit of stuff in the nursery. We're just taking our time. I'm trying to start a little bit early and just do things slower so I don't feel overwhelmed to do everything at the end. And I've been just loving going into baby girl's room. It's like my favorite room and I just have such a vision and I think it's gonna turn out so cute. And literally, like I said, it's my favorite room now. I, I'm obsessed with it. We're definitely doing a lot of like flowers in her room that's kind of like the theme so i will share with you guys that i also did buy a picture the other day at home sense for the nursery so i'll share with you guys that and i'm also starting to prep for my baby shower which i'm so so excited about it's going to be kind of a similar theme to her nursery i kind of wanted to like tie the two together but i can't wait for that so i've been doing that and i wanted to actually make one of those um, arch backdrops myself with my husband and we're gonna do that so I'll probably film that when we do make it because they're just like so much better to DIY than rent you can like rent those things for like $500 and you can make it for under a hundred probably be doing that within the next week or two yeah that's pretty much what's been going on just a lot of baby things I already want to start doing a laundry so after we build the dresser and finish in the nursery. I'm also gonna start cleaning baby girl's clothes because we do have some clothes. Um, we did also get some secondhand clothes from a friend. I went ahead and actually bought baby laundry detergent that's a lot more natural. It's actually from a brand that I've been really loving. They have like a lot of natural products when it comes to like um, even like hand soaps, laundry detergents, dish soap. I actually used one of their um, belly creams for pregnancy um, and I've been just loving this brand. I think it's called Attitude but I'll share with you guys what it looks like when I'm doing her laundry. But I want to start like doing her clothes and folding it and putting them in the dresser and then hanging some things up also. It has been a full day of baby things from the morning of taking my glucose test which I'm so happy that is over and done with. I'm hoping everything comes back good and I don't have to do the three hour test. I'm really hoping everything is good. I'm a little nervous and anxious about that, but thinking of the best, we're not thinking of that. I'm also starting to have more and more doctor appointments. I believe my doctor appointments are gonna start being every two weeks now. At first when you go to uh, my OBGYN, it's like once a month, but I think now it's gonna start being every two weeks and then it goes to once a week. That's when you know you're getting real close. I am just really excited to meet baby girl. I just keep thinking about her. I keep having dreams about her. I feel like I want to know everything about her. So I'm so excited for when the time comes and I just can't wait for this next chapter in our lives. I'm really excited. I'm just going to continue to get ready I'm already pretty much done. All I need to do is my mascara. I don't know if I'll put, I don't even think I'm gonna put eyeliner. I've been just really sometimes putting mascara, which I always used to like 
put liner, do all this like eyeshadow. I used to put fake lashes all the time, but your girl is just doesn't have time for that anymore. I just have been loving just adding a little bit of mascara. And of course, my favorite mascara, especially drugstore. This is still my favorite drugstore mascara. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic. Obsessed. It just makes your lashes look so long and it doesn't flake. I have to say, we haven't, I haven't talked about really anything. The second trimester has been really crazy. We did like the gender reveal during this trimester. I actually ended up getting sick, which I was really scared about, but everything ended up being okay. And um, I finally am feeling baby girl's kicks. Now it happens like every single day, but I didn't really start feeling, feeling them till about almost pretty much 20 weeks. Um, I know some people say they feel them really early and like I feel like maybe I would have I felt like little things but like I didn't really feel it feel it till 20 weeks so it's been so exciting that's definitely my favorite part of pregnancy is just feeling her kick in the belly and it just makes it feel that much more real and it's just my favorite time even though she does like to come alive in the nighttime. <laughs> Um, when I'm sleeping or like the evenings that's like the time she's so active is I find whenever it's like the evening time it's like 6 7 p.m. she's up she is ready she is like doing her dancing and she's just kicking for hours she's a little night owl <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish my mascara off camera because this is always like the longest process and I'm always like <laughs> with my mouth open, but I'm gonna catch you guys once I'm all ready and I'm gonna probably go change and then I will update you guys once we are in the nursery and I'm hoping to I can meal prep because We don't have really any meal prep. We don't have any protein meal prepped and our salads are all done So I want to go ahead and just chop all the veggies and have that all ready Maybe boil some more eggs. I've been liking having those meal prepped as well so hopefully we can go ahead and get that all done. And also our baby boy, Naxos, is getting a haircut today. So as you guys saw him when I was walking in, he's a little furry. Now that it's getting hot outside, we want to get him a haircut. So he's going to go ahead and have a little spa day, and get his hair all trimmed, his nails trimmed, all of that. It's going to be a whole day for him. He always comes looking like a whole new dog once he gets his hair cut. But I'll catch you guys then, like I said. I'm all ready and I'm out of the bathroom, so sorry if there was an echo in the previous clip. But I'm currently in baby girl's nursery and I'm obsessed with it. This wall over here is just an accent wall and I cannot stop staring at it. I love it. My husband did such a good job, but he's about to come through now because we are about to make the dresser or more like my husband, let's be honest. <laughs> I suck at putting together furniture. We have our boxes here. This is the one it is, the Hems Ikea dresser, which by the way, I have to say, Ikea has raised this dresser two times in price. We went recently to Ikea just a couple months ago and they had another price increase. I don't know if it's because this is becoming like a bestseller product that Ikea needs to stop. So it actually has gone up, which is super annoying, but it seems like everything has gone up in price, to be honest. We are gonna change the knobs and not use the ones that they give you. They usually give you like black little circle knobs, but we were able to find some really cute knobs and we found them at Winner's Home Sense. You can find them there or Marshall's. They, I've seen them there too as well. That's okay. <laughs> Are you ready to make the furniture? I'm always ready. There's a sneak peek of our wall, but where's the knobs? I want to show them. Oh, in the washroom. This is the knobs we decided to choose instead of using the ones that it comes with. They're very neutral. We have a lot of light wood accents, so I thought these would work, and they're also just more circular and bigger. So we're gonna try these knobs and see how it looks. This is the mirror too we're gonna put on top. This is also from Ikea and we thought it just matched with the knobs, with the light wood all around. They do have this mirror in other colors though as well. Oh my God. I oh know, that's so many pieces and that's only the first box. These are all the drawer stuff, you can already tell. Yeah, that's what I, cause they're the wood. Look how many 
pieces this dresser comes with. Comes with all of this, all down there, and then all here, and then a bunch of these little wood boards. How you feel about it? <laughs> I'm already done. I didn't think it came with 100 pieces. Now we just step by step. These are the original knobs it comes with, and I just opened one. And this is what it looks like. They're actually like smaller and not as black as I thought. Look at all of these like screws. This is out of control. So while my husband is continuing to work on that dresser, which there are so many pieces, I am going to go through the clothes that we have, baby clothes separated and start doing laundry because it's already getting a little bit late. So I wanna go ahead and start that and maybe I'll show you guys some pieces too. Just waiting for my husband to bring in the laundry basket so I can put them in. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, see, look at the cute leggings. I know. Oh my gosh, look at this little top. Oh, I love the little hats. This one's like a knit pink one, a light pink one. Then we got this one with little giraffes and pink clouds. And then this one's so cute with the little ears on the top and it's like a nice soft pink hat. It says, Daddy's girl, hear me roar. You like it? Love it. <laughs> we have so many ones that say daddy's girl. Oh, this is so cute. So cute. I love the little feet. It has little lambs on it. We also have a couple of pieces hanging in the closet. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the light stuff now and wash those first. We are making progress. This is what we have done so far. This is going to be the first load of laundry. I just put all the light colored clothes. So I'm gonna go downstairs, start the laundry, and I'll share with you guys the laundry detergent I ended up picking. Okay, so I'm currently in my laundry room now, and I'm going to start my first load of baby clothes, which I am actually so excited about. All the pieces are just so cute and so little. I can't get over it, but this is the laundry detergent I bought. It is Attitude Natural Care, and it is extra gentle, unscented, hypoallergenic, and I actually really love this brand. I've been gravitating toward it a lot. It is just so much better ingredients, so I will link it down below if you guys are curious. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them in now and start my load. I am starting to get acid reflex and heartburn, so that's been really great. It came back. I think I jinxed it by saying that it doesn't come every day, so <laughs> we love that. Actually getting a little bit late, so I'm trying to hurry up because I definitely want to try and do at least two loads of clothes today. I want to do the light and dark. First load of laundry in, and then I'm probably gonna go ahead and do a second load. I wanna share it with you guys the first artwork that I found for the nursery. So yesterday I just went to HomeSense quickly and I found this picture. It just has like little florals going all around and kind of like a really light neutral color. And it says, baby girl, you can do amazing things. And I really love the frame as well because it's that light wood. So it's really gonna match with a lot of the accents. I don't know where we will put it yet and I definitely wanna find more. So I've been on the hunt for a little like decor and artwork that we can put onto the walls to make them not so bare, especially on the white walls, of course because we do have the one wall that's like the accent wall. So this is what it looks like close up. You can see like the neutral flowers and the frame as well.
update, it is currently the next day. That dresser took so much longer than expected. It came with so many pieces. And honestly, it was getting really dark yesterday. We had like a rainstorm and we were both so exhausted. So I couldn't finish everything I wanted to do. So I'm just gonna continue on today. I'm currently back in the nursery and I'm gonna share with you guys how the dresser mirror looks, even though I did get some clips, but it's just so much brighter. So I wanted to share with you guys kind of some up close, but I need to still put away all the laundry. So I ended up washing everything last night. This is how the dresser and mirror looks like. I do love it, especially love that mirror. I think it turned out really well. And I also just love these handles. I'm so happy I found these and it just makes it look so much better when you change the handles of the dresser i didn't really like the handles it did come with and i think these ones just match perfectly with everything and then as you can see here i just have the mirror with the light wood absolutely love this shade of like oak wood it turned out pretty good i really like how these are like smaller drawers inside it comes like lined like that but i have to say I don't know, this one is a little janky. This is the first time I bought like Ikea furniture. I bought in things from Ikea that are like more small things or things that are already come together. It wasn't as um, good as I was expecting, especially for the price. I think because the price has raised two times since I last looked at this dresser. It was with tax, pretty much 600 Canadian. And I remember it used to be like three something and then it went up to four something and now it's like five something. And I just don't think, to be completely honest, it's starting to be worth it. But I do like the look. However, I don't know how well it will hold up. Even the paint here is a little faded. Like you can kind of see the wood through the white. And then like I said, some of the drawers are a little bit off and we tried to do everything to kind of fix it, but it is what it is. So that's kind of how it all turned out. But I do really think it works really well. It is pretty tall. Your girl is short, so it's definitely tall, but that's okay. And yeah, I just went ahead and put my laundry basket on here because I'm gonna start to organize everything. But like I said, I am going to go vacuum first. I haven't done a bump update in so long, so I'm gonna share with you what baby bump is looking like. This is what baby bump is looking like. It is getting harder and harder to dress this bump, I have to say. <laughs> I'm gonna start putting things away slowly. I, I'm hoping to eventually get like little dividers. I think that's gonna be a lot easier. But for now, I'm just gonna separate it also based on um, age group. And then I want to hang a couple pieces up in the closet. I did go ahead and buy two of these baby hangers. These are the ultra slim hanger and I just decided to go with the neutral cream color. Um, I actually picked this up from Winners, totally recommend. This one does come with 25 hangers. Be careful because there were like a couple times I almost bought hangers because I thought it was like a better deal, but I realized it was kids hangers, so it was for like clothes more to and up, and it would have been way too big. So make sure you, that it's going to fit like newborn clothes and like for the first year and things like that. So I'm gonna also use these for some of more like the outfit outfits and then more of the onesies and sleepers. I'm going to just fold up and put away.
everything away. And honestly, I'm probably gonna change things a lot later on once I get different little organization things to make things adjust a lot more organized. But I'll share with you guys what it is looking like right now. I definitely have a ton of three to six clothing and um, I have some six to nine, but I definitely need to pick up some newborn onesies and just little clothing as well. But this is what it is looking like. So for now in this drawer, I just have some little like cloths and towels and then I have the little bibs and then over here in this drawer I just have some hats and bows and just like little socks and things like that which I'm hoping to get like dividers to make it a little bit more organized and maybe even little bins and then even for like all the little bows I have I want to get some sort of kind of like a natural wood hanger and put it somewhere so we can have these up for display and have all her little bows and like hair accessories up and I definitely have a lot of empty drawers. I want to put like diapers and wipes. This one's going to be newborn clothing, but I definitely need some newborn things like onesies and little, just a few outfits. I know they grow so fast, but I have a ton of a three to six outfits. I have a ton of onesies and little leggings are on this section. I did roll the onesies up, but like I said, eventually it would be really good to get some dividers. So it's a little bit more organized. And then down here are the six to nine. So I have some leggings as well. And these are the few onesies that we have. Bringing it to the closet. So I went ahead and just hung up the outfits and kind of like tops and more dressy things. I have a ton of dresses there. These are definitely more for when she gets older, bigger sizes, but these are, um, three to six months. So I have like little dresses and little shirts, um, as well as like sweaters. Look how cute this one is with the rainbows. This one I'm obsessed with. It's like a little jumpsuit with the bear pocket. I can't get over it. And then I have this one, which I really like. It's a two piece outfit it has the little top. And then underneath I hung the pants as well. So these are just like more outfit outfits that I wanted to hang up for display and kind of be able to see so it doesn't get lost. I'm hoping to also get those dividers on Amazon that tell you zero to three months, three to six, six to nine, and all of that. So you can kind of put it before each section so you can know what the sizing is. That is how everything is looking like. And then I just have the extra hangers back there for now. Eventually I'm hoping my husband and I can think of something to maybe like add extra to the closet so we can have more room and just add more like organization things. I'm hoping to do that. So thankful for um, the help we got from my husband and I's friend. That was really sweet of them to give us some of the clothing passed down. That is all I have right now in baby girl's nursery. I'm obsessed with how it is starting to come together. Just still need to get a mattress for it and then bed sheets, of course. I've been looking into like rocking chairs and all of that. So I'll bring you guys along the process. And of course, when I fully finish the nursery, I wanna do a whole nursery tour and I'll go into details of where everything is from and everything we did. I love spending weekends working on it with my husband. It's so much fun. And I've just been really going all out with this room and just having fun with it. It's honestly becoming my favorite room in the house. I love just coming in here and just looking Looking around but yeah I probably like I said will change a bunch of the clothing situation um, once I get more organization things and things like that but for now I just want to have everything kind of put away and separated based on the ages my literal eye has been twitching for like the last two days so if you notice that I'm sorry now I think what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna go downstairs and I think I want to start meal prepping now because that's gonna take me a little bit. I just wanna prep the, my salads and then I may actually do some boiled eggs because I've been starting to do that again lately. We ended up not hanging this up yet because I'm not sure where I wanna put it because I do know I wanna have like more photos or more artwork. So for now I'm gonna hold off.
meal prep complete. So I didn't do too much. I just went ahead and chopped up the leftover lettuce I had as well as the tomatoes. And then I went ahead and just boiled a bunch of eggs just to have in the fridge ready to go for some extra protein. And that is going to conclude my day in the life. I'm gonna go ahead and end off my vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I can't believe I am in my third trimester now and the time is getting close. I will definitely do more, bring you guys along and give you guys updates. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. I do post every single week. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.